prove p dp inverse to the nth power is equal to p d to the n p inverse for every positive integer n. So here p and d are square matrices and p is invertible. So proof. Let's go ahead and try this by induction. So our statement and all of this will be this one right here. And this will be our s sub n. So first we'll start with the base case. And since we're showing this is true for every positive integer, we'll start by showing it's true when n is equal to 1. So the left hand side, when n is equal to 1, is simply p d p inverse to the first power, which is p d p inverse. And the right hand side is p d to the 1 p inverse which is just p d p inverse so the left hand side is equal to the right hand side when n is equal to 1 so s sub 1 is true our statement is true when n is equal to 1 the second step will be the induction hypothesis so induction hypothesis So in this step, we suppose our statement is true for some positive integer k. So suppose p d p inverse to the k is equal to p d to the k p inverse for some positive integer k. So this here, this is actually s sub k. So we're supposing that s sub k is true for some positive integer. So now for the induction step, we need to show that our statement is true when n is equal to k plus 1. So I'm going to write that down in blue. So we need to show our statement is true when n is equal to k plus 1. So we need to show that p d p inverse, that's a funny looking p, to the k plus 1 is equal to p d to the k plus 1 p inverse. So that's what we have to show. So we'll start with the left hand side and we'll show it's equal to the right hand side. So note p d p inverse to the k plus 1. We can write this as p d p inverse to the k times p d p inverse to the 1 because laws of exponents let us just add the k and the 1. That works with matrices as well, with powers of matrices, right? If you have a squared times a cubed, that's just a to the fifth, where a is a matrix. Okay, now we know something about p d p inverse to the k. We know it's equal to this, right, by the induction hypothesis. So this is p d to the k p inverse. And over here we just have p d p inverse to the first power, so it's just itself. Now matrix multiplication is associative, so we can drop the parentheses, and P inverse times P, that's the identity matrix. So this is P D to the K times the identity matrix. I'll put a dot there, uh, not really necessary, and then D P to the negative one. So this is equal to, well, D to the K times I is just D to the K. So this is P D to the K D P inverse because I is the identity matrix. And this is equal to P, well there's a 1 here, so this is D to the K plus 1 P inverse. So that's the right hand side, so we did it. So S sub K plus 1 is true, right? This statement here is S sub K plus 1. So in the induction hypothesis, we assume it's true for some k. So we suppose s sub k is true. 
And in the induction step, we prove it's true for k plus 1. So we prove that s sub k plus 1 is true. So that completes the proof. So by the principle of mathematical induction, our statement s sub n is true for every positive integer n. And I hope this helps.